G'day, I'm Ash, and today I'm going to take you through some of my most hated vehicles in War Thunder. Now, please note that these are my personal least favourite, and you may disagree, that's fine. But I thought I'd update this and uh, leave it as a bit of a 2020 edition. So perhaps you could leave me a comment with your five most hated aircraft in War Thunder. And let's get stuck straight into it. Number one on the list is quite interesting, although should I say number 10, because that's what we're starting with. Essentially, the SK 60. B is a fantastic aircraft overall. I've praised it for a very number of reasons. It's got 30mm cannons, it does fairly well. It's rank 5 battle rating 7.3. This thing is essentially the F-89 Hunter or Killer, whatever you want to call it. Very agile, very maneuverable. The issue isn't with the plane itself. The issue isn't with the battle rating or the actual vehicle per se. It's more the fact that this thing costs max repair cost of 27,377 lions. I despise this thing. It's making me actively bankrupt because I want to play this thing to unlock the next uh, evolution of that particular vehicle. But suffice to say that only having gun pods and having 27,000 repair costs is not good enough for something that is really, really an utterly slow as a vehicle in general. It basically, balancing by repair cost and balancing by BR is something that War Thunder hasn't necessarily done correctly. And this is the reason why I dislike this vehicle considering its repair cost got shot through the roof. Number nine on the list is the Buccaneer S2. It's useless due to one thing only, and that being that air realistic battles doesn't really cater towards this aircraft's playstyle. It's a ground attacker, that's what it is designed to do. However, playing in ground forces, you probably have more success with this particular vehicle, being rank 6, battle already 9.3. It can really only have offensive, or should I say defensive, air-to-air -air missiles, being AIM-9Bs, which are pretty okay. And then obviously the internal bomb bay is a nice addition, and you can also have rockets. I covered this in a video recently. But it really just is not a useful vehicle at all in the regular air modes, which is why in my one of my recent videos I tried to use it as a dedicated fighter and, and challenge myself to use the rockets and the, the missiles in order to be an effective support fighter. Well, it's not exactly good in that role either. So it's kind of a unique strike aircraft, but hey, it is what it is. So that's number nine. Number eight on the list is quite annoying, and I remember having to unlock this vehicle a few times. Germany has one. Britain uh, doesn't have one, although France does and so does Italy, and having to unlock three of them just made the grind a little bit longer. I'm talking about the F-86K, the Sabre Dog, a rank 6 battle rating 9.3, and for the tech trees of Italy, France and Germany, I believe that this aircraft is actually detrimental to those tech trees and rather just filler content. It's not necessarily the greatest aircraft out there, it's rather lacklustre, although it does get aim 9s, but essentially it is rather useless, and I hate this thing mainly because it is essentially copy-paste, and we could argue that for most vehicles, but this one, I remember having to grind through jets early on, and this is just really the reason why I don't like the F-86K. It's sluggish, and I'd say that the A7D and other outperforming vehicles that are current meta do this aircraft injustice, much like another aircraft we'll mention higher up the list later on. Number 7 on the list is the LA-200, a rank 5 but already 8.0. It's got 37mm cannons times 3 with 150 rounds, and it's rather lackluster. It does have a crew of 2 and a max speed of 1058. That being said, it does have a radar, it is incredibly cumbersome, its acceleration is rather poor, but it can be useful. And to those pilots who have mastered this thing, congratulations. I can't stand this thing for several reasons. It's just, it's not very competitive as a jet. There are other aircraft in that 8.3 to 8.0 lineup that is actually better. I'd argue that the LA-15 is also better. I'd also argue that the F-30 is better than the LA-200. The really only advantage of this thing is the fact that it has, obviously, the immense firepower of 337mm guns. But not only that, it also has radar, but in limiting capacity, I suppose. There is no other modifications for this thing. It doesn't get any ordnance. It doesn't get any, uh, I guess, flares. It doesn't get any countermeasures. There's nothing really aside from the radar and the gun. That's about it. Aside from the fact that the cockpit is really open and you probably could get really pilot sniped quite easily. Number six on the list is the A32A, a fantastic aircraft in its own right. The airframe, there is nothing particularly wrong with it. It's an attacker, it's a Swedish vehicle, rank six, but a ring 9.0. It's got 20 minimum cannons for 360 rounds, though that's okay with 1,084 kilometers an hour top speed. 
you know, you'd think that it's a pretty good aircraft. And it is for what it is in a conventional manner with the guns as a conventional fighter. However, this thing is a ground pounder. And if you know me by now, I don't necessarily like tanks. It comes with bombs and it comes with rockets. Generally speaking, it leads to the end of a line after the JA-29Bs, the attacker versions of the barrels, and the vampire, I suppose. And it just sort of ends up by leading nowhere. The line you really want to be on is the J-32B that leads towards the Draken, because the Draken's at least usable. So the attacker... It's not really exactly a great jet fighter. So, I don't know. The missiles make it up for it on the Lanson version, which has four AIM-9Bs, but the A32, I think, is a little lackluster at best. Number five on the list might surprise a few of you. It is almost a bomber, but almost not at the same time, although the airframe itself is a bit of a meme. This is a P-108A Series 2. It's a rank 3, but rating 3.0. And the biggest drawback, or should I say lack thereof, on this particular aircraft is, well... It's really an attacker aircraft. That is its primary role, only due to the fact that it's got a 102mm gun with 50 rounds. Yeah, and a 102mm gun on an aircraft, that's that's absolutely ludicrous for 1943 whenever this thing was designed. Crew of 8, max speed of 412. It's cumbersome. It's heavy. It's a bomber airframe. The gunners aren't particularly that good. I don't like playing this vehicle. I don't even have the spade it. I've still got six free repairs for the vehicle. I can't stand it. It's just... It's just... I don't know, it's irritating. Number four on the list is the I-180S. It's a rank two, but a rating 3.0. It's an exclusive vehicle which you can only get your hands on on the Gaussian market or from a crafting event. Essentially, it's an I-16 with a bigger, beefier engine and some slightly modified wings. However, in the CDK files a few months ago, well, when this aircraft was introduced, it essentially had the same flight model as the Boomerang. And for those of you who are fans of the channel, I really like CIC Boomerang. It's a fantastic British a fighter however they nerfed it recently and i later found out that the i-180s had exactly the same flight model sure they have different and similar elevators you could say they have similar characteristics but it was just another case of there being an event vehicle being better than a premium vehicle which has been in the game for years and i just i just didn't see the need for change that's why i particularly have a gripe against this thing number three on the list is all variants of this particular aircraft the f-84f all variants it's just essentially filler content it's another case of example of adding something late to the game that has progressed past the time period where the f-84s would actually be useful I don't have anything against the aircraft that leads to better aircraft such as the F-107 or the F-104 or the F-105 and so on and so forth. But the F-84F is rank 5 but rating 8.7. It basically has rockets and it doesn't necessarily do anything particularly well. With a top speed of 1066 at 8.7 you're going to be absolutely trashed by another vehicle. My main issue is there are five of these vehicles and one of them is premium. So it's another case of copy paste and... That is not necessarily something that is good for War Thunder. Number two on the list is the Q5, or should I say more precisely, the whole entire Chinese aviation deck tree, because as something that really shouldn't exist in War Thunder outside of maybe a few event vehicles. Again, it's another case of filler content that really should just, I don't know, nobody really likes the full tech tree of China. I've ground through most of it, but I feel like I'm playing the same vehicles over and over and there's no uniqueness until later down the line. Now that's okay, but it doesn't necessarily top number one on the list. Now, if this isn't bloody clear enough, the most hated aircraft that I hate this year is actually the Harrier. This should be obvious. While the normal entry variants I'd consider a non-issue, however, the premium GR1 on the British tech tree with the SRAMs on a platform that is essentially a fire and forget form of close quarters missile system, puts this thing at the most hated aircraft of 2020. You should know why. I don't have to explain to you why this is. It's basically killed top tier jets. Essentially, you have hordes of these flying around and people are swarming to this particular aircraft because you can just fly up behind someone really closely and fire an SRAM at them and get massive results. I will credit the Harrier with one thing, and it completed my tier 6 aviation tick tree, something which I was struggling to unlock with the Lightning F6, for example. But it is deplorable. It is borderline broken. It is the definition of power creep in War Thunder, even though it introduces a new feature, which is vertical takeoff and landing. Let me know what your five most hated aircraft are, and if you agree with me on this video, chuck a like and all that stuff. My name is Ash. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.